Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Just missed the 2-22-2022 uh, date, just by a little bit on a Tuesday. But the news media covered a lot of that already. So I am Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth, and this is for Longmont Public Media. So we have a new moon on Wednesday, March 2nd rising and setting about the same time as the sun. Uh, looking at our drought conditions, things are a little worse in the mountains and a little less on the plains as we go from last week to this week, but overall not much of a change and at least all parts of Colorado are out of the exceptional drought. Looking nationally, there's a little bit of relief in the west, right around Oklahoma, Texas. Things get a little worse one day forward. Oh, sorry, one week forward, but things aren't changing much. And again, we have snowpack that is not yet melting, and so that's not contributing to the soil moisture yet. All right, looking at this animation, they are still putting out this graphic, but they have changed the look of the product. So let's go from back in December up through January. And then we got to go to this graphic. I'll just get rid of those older ones next week. But uh, you can see we pretty much level off and now we are climbing a bit. There's a lot of snow falling in the western slopes in the southwestern part of the state. And we just have to wait for this storm to pass to add up the numbers. We can look at the numbers in, Col in Boulder, Colorado though. Boulder County is right around Longmont. Up to Tuesday, we had about just an inch, inch and a third. Some spots just under an inch. Boulder got two to three. Broomfield got, oh, it's just under an inch to just over an inch. And Wednesday was just about the same. 1.3s around Longmont, up to 2.2, but a lot of ones in Boulder, and just under one inch in Broomfield. And the forecast for Wednesday night into Thursday is about another inch. Looking at the liquid precipitation, so snow melt, things are looking really good up to Tuesday. And with this, once the storm passes, we're going to get a lot more great numbers in on the western side of Colorado. So as I record on Wednesday, we have a low, very slowly tracking across the southern part of the state bringing in little impulses of energy that are kicking off brief periods of slightly heavier snow, but the air is so cold. We've had negative and single digit positive temperatures for a few days now, and there just isn't much moisture for the uh, impulses to act upon. So we aren't getting a lot, but it is trying to. Look at the um, mixed precipitation almost down to Phoenix. So that is some cold air. So on Thursday uh, afternoon, the main trough is pulling through. There's this little trough further back here in Washington, Oregon. Go forward. The really cold temperature is still holding in place. This is departure from normal. There are 26, 30 degrees below normal in the lower elevations. Again, cold air is very dense, stays close to the earth. So it's not making it up into the mountains as much. So they don't have temperatures as far below normal as us. So it's very possible that many mountain communities are warmer than cities along I-25 for another day. For Friday, we have that low back there in Washington, Oregon coming in for just a little teeny chance of, oh, let me back up, of uh, snow is really small but in the northern mountains central mountains we might see it a little bit more there might even be a little bit of a dusting out on the plains as the cold air departs and the big trough pulls away for wednesday a little chance of convection up into southwestern colorado a little bit in the south and then things are completely boring nationwide thursday and friday for the next 10 days, we do see the temperatures rising from, our uh, expected normal temperatures rising from 48 to 51. So here comes the warm up. Uh, look at the normal nighttime temperatures going from 20 up to 24. 
Our temperatures start out ridiculously below normal on Wednesday and Thursday, even Friday, and then pop up back to normal and then above normal. Some models are showing even 60s and more come middle late next week. We have the really good chance of snow at the beginning of the forecast period on Wednesday. Um, the GFS is pretty bullish about a brief period of showers on Friday. That probably won't mess up traffic much, but be aware that could happen. Uh, our next storm then waits. That was a 10-day forecast, forecast and nothing else was happening. So beyond that, next Sunday evening, there's a, another low that approaches in the upper atmosphere. We have a little cutoff bit there and a good trough and a pretty good amount of snow coming in on Sunday, maybe impacting Monday morning the week after next uh, commute. And then on its heels, Wednesday, another trough comes in with more snow. And notice how much rain there is on the southern edge of this. So temperatures are warming. Things are not going to be as cold as they are in this current storm. So we have a very, very quiet week ahead and then a very active week after that. So let's take a look at that in 10 day animation. Here comes the Friday back lobe moving through. We see the ridge returning to the west. That's what warms us up very quickly. We didn't get a lot of snow out of three days of super cold air. And so that should melt pretty quickly. It's this little cutoff thing that travels south of us, but the ridge dominates Wednesday and Thursday way above normal temperatures. Mid 60s are possible. Going to Friday the 4th of March into the weekend and here comes that trough for the Sunday storm. It's pretty vigorous. That's pretty strong. Okay, I repeated so let's look at the temperatures. Here's our below normal temperatures that we are currently experiencing. You can see that the source of cold air is cut off up in Canada. And so we just are stuck with the cold air that's in place, warming up a little more each day until the ridge starts to build and the warm air really takes over in the west. These blue below normal temperatures are just where the deepest snow is. So temperatures go way above normal late next week. Very dry conditions for a week. And then there's a hint of some more cold air on the 5th. And then it comes down as a front on the 6th of March and we're, that backed up and started over. So that's our <clears throat> the first of our next two storms right at the end of the loop. Here goes Friday's little chance of snow and it's out of here. If you see snow you'll be lucky but it could happen. And we've got to make our way through a long quiet week with storms moving up north of us and passing. Here's Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday still nothing but warm weather up snow up in Montana and Canada here comes Saturday and then finally a storm starts to form here the low intensifies we have a pretty good chance of snow and that's all that I showed in that loop so over the next five days we have maybe a quarter inch of precipitation I think that's really overdone uh, right along I-25, a little bit more in the mountains for the snow amounts. It was about two to four on this map. I think that's way overdone. I think one to two Wednesday night into Thursday morning is the best we can expect. We'll see. Over the next 10 days, not much more. It's almost the exact same map. So from Wednesday's single digit lows and Thursday and Friday single digits and almost single digits highs on Wednesday. I think we did hit 11. I had to record this late. We jump up to the 20s then 30s, 40s, 50s, adding almost 10 degrees every day until we're almost to the 60s by the end. Little chance of snow on Friday night but dry and mostly cloud free for the rest of the beginning of next week. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmark Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. I need to update that slide. <clears throat> this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. 
keep looking up.